through, through dirt roads. Dirt roads with shrubs everywhere. Nice. Scratching up the car. Yeah, it did. It did look like the jungle. <laughs> uh, let's get started, man. Right, let's, right. let's talk to these people and let's get started on how we do our BHAGs. How to do big deals, guys. Uh, but for you just joining us, I've been investing since 1999. Uh, I lost it all in 2002, 2003, uh, but I recovered just like anything. I was homeless. I was jumping. I was couch surfing. Um, uh, but we figured it out. Now, uh, right about now, I can't say that, but we own about 1,500 units that goes up and down every month, 40 houses, warehouse, parcels, of land, and we're in the process of developing a $100 million deal in Sarasota, Florida. Yeah, and you own four hotels right now. And yep, four hotels. Make it six and then seven. Yep. Cool. There we go. All right, let's move on. Uh, so today we're going to talk about why big deals are easier how you can do big deals, and how you can do big deals fast. All right? Is there oh. anything else on that? Was yep. it just three? Yeah, those are the three things that we will talk about. Next slide. So why are big deals easier? Well, one of the first things is it's easier to raise capital for big deals. Now, there's numerous reasons why it's easier, but... And we will dig deeper into that too. And, and then it's easier to get bank financing and it's easier to manage. And we're going to tell you about all these different things, but I want you to understand that as long as you have enough knowledge on how to do the deal, your team is strong enough that people can invest with you or you can put opportunities. I want you to understand that there are people that wake up every morning and their job is to write a check for $50 million. Yep. So while you're over there thinking about this little $50,000, $100,000, there's somebody out there every morning, not one, not two, there's multiple, multiple people. Their job is to write a check for $50 million. And that's what we want you to work on, all right? I just want you to know that, because some of you are, I don't know where to go. Yeah, it's the whole mindset thing. Get the information, learn what you need to do, and then get out there and start putting deals together. All right, let's go to the next one, Walt. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Infinite loop there. Yeah. Why big deals are easier to raise capital for? Banks know and accept that you need to raise the down payment for private investors. Uh, this process is called syndication. Some of you call it crowdfunding. Look, you can raise money um, just, just by friends and family. I just did a video about, you know, getting referrals. Some people didn't know where to start. Uh, like they was like, well, all my friends or family are broke. Mine's fam. My friends or family are still broke. All right. <laughs> so it's okay. The banks don't expect you to have the money. So if you did a little hundred, two hundred, three, four hundred thousand dollar deal, mm -hmm. single family home, the banks are looking for you to have your down payment mm -hmm. and reserves, and they wanted to see it in there for at, well, least, at least three, three months. months. Yeah, yep. They have a seasoning requirement. Yeah, a know. seasoning. Uh, they mm -hmm. want to see the 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 monthly payments. They want to see six months to a year mm -hmm. worth of monthly payments in your bank account. Yep. Whereas with the with apartments and hotels, right, Mike? It the, the money doesn't have to be your money, and it doesn't have to be seasoned. Which is like. They already know when that's, when that's we amazing. start doing deals, you can raise money. And here's the crazy thing. When you do deals with the bank, uh, the crazy thing is, I remember our first $10 million deal we did. Mm -hmm. Me and Nate were just getting started, and we were probably only worth, at the time, and I know this sounds like a, a jerk, but we were probably worth, what, combined a million, million and a half mm -hmm. at the time. So, but what you didn't know, banks want you to be worth what they lend you. So if you're lending, they're lending $10 million, they want you to have a net worth of $10 million. Mm -hmm. But the good thing about a big deal, even though you're not worth $10 million, you can go get you a partner. You can go get you an investor. Mm -hmm. You can get somebody. And that's how I did my first hotel deal. I brought in a partner that had a net worth of 30 to $50 million. Mm -hmm. And they signed for the $10 million debt. 
Yeah. That deal got me started, and now we're able to sign for our own debt. Nice, nice. Yep. Next slide. Uh, so why big deals are easy to finance? Well, another thing, as I shared with you before, when you're doing some of these multi-units or you're doing hotels or just any other deal, any large deals, when you do a small house, they expect you, again, to have that cash flow or that debt-to-income ratio. Right. Well, with the hotels and apartments, they will consider that income. They'll put it in their projections of the revenue. Mm -hmm. so, it's, so it's more of the property's income, not your personal income. That's right. right. So you don't have to worry about just having income of your own. They will take into account the revenue that the property is generating. Yeah. And because it's generating that, you're able to do larger deals. Right, right. Like, like, like technically, you and I, Mike, we are unemployed, right? <laughs> so and yet, and yet you yes. can buy you can buy an apartment building and and the and the bank is like, oh, Mike is unemployed. I I will disapprove the loan, right? Yes. But if you buy a single family home, you know, yeah. that can be an issue. I got more <laughs> issues trying to buy a house. For myself than I would a, a hotel. That's amazing. That's like crazy, isn't it? Isn't that That's crazy? Crazy. crazy? It used to be the other way around. Right, right, right. So, so next slide. Why big deals are easier to manage? Uh, like a 50 to 100 unit. Okay, so let's just cut through the chase, man. I like to do my favorite. This is Walt's favorite. I'm going to go to. Oh, tenants, toilets. <laughs> the one of the main reasons, there you go, are the three T's. Tenants, toilets, and trash. When you're doing larger deals, you don't have to deal with that. Yep, you don't have to personally clean. You don't have you know, to be their psychologist. The, the, the cat's poop, you know. <laughs> Which I've experienced before, you know. Rats poop, you know. Bird poop, you know. As a small lander. Hey, the, 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 you ain't got to deal with the tenants' poop, okay? <laughs> there you go. That's even worse. Tenants, toilets, and trash. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I mean, because if you're doing a single family, uh, you can hire a property manager, but it's going to cost. Right. It costs. And, and you're already potential. probably, if that's your first deal, the revenue is kind of tight. Right. So you giving up 10%. I mean, uh, and the and, cash flow is typically $200 per month. So you end and, up and, using and, half of your cash. And if they just do in one unit, they're going to want more money. Right. I mean, I mean, 200, like let's say the rent is 2000 a month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The management is going to take 200, maybe three or 400, mm. right? Then you're only left with 100, $300 in net cash flow. Yep. Probably That's a less. big, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you get with larger deals, you're generating so much revenue on a 50, 100 unit building. I potentially can hire a property manager and a, 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 a grounds manager to live on site. Yeah, that's true. You know, if it's generating enough revenue. And then the person that you pay, uh, the bigger the unit, the bigger the apartment is, becomes lower and lower than 10%, right? Yes. It can yeah. be like 5%. Well, yeah, well, yeah. You know, you when know. you get into apartments, they charge 3 to 4% uh, mm -hmm. of the gross rent. Now they charge additional fees, which right. it could still come out to be about 10%. Mm. Uh, but those are one of the great things about doing larger deals. I mean, that's what I'm telling you. You're one big deal away. You've got to get out there and try to do some of these large deals, whether you're the active of, of the deal or being a passive person of the deal. Passive mean being a, a limited partner. That's a great way to start investing. Uh, some of you like, I don't have the skill set. I can't do a big deal. Look, invest in a larger deal as the limited partner. You can be passive and hands off and watch how the deal is structured and then still accumulate money. Yeah. You can get a great cash flow. You can get a great equity multiple. And next week we will start a new podcast about passive investing. Oh, we're going to talk about yeah. that. Yep. We're, yep. we're going to talk about all the great ways of how you could be a passive investor. I mean, because look, there's a lot of guys and women and men out here that listen to us and they say, Mike, I love my job. I, I, I make, hey, they make the big bank. There's a lot of guys out here making uh, 250, 500, 750,000 a year. And they like, look, I like what I'm doing. I just rather invest. Yeah.
Well, we want to teach you guys how to be a great investor, know the questions to ask, know what to look for in a deal, how to interview your GP, mm -hmm. the sponsor. Uh, and so you'll know what you're looking how for. So analyze can, the numbers. Yeah, and, and how to analyze yeah. the numbers so they can't like, they no. Can't fool you or whatever. Yeah, they just you know? tell you anything. Yep, yep. Next slide. Uh, so one of the things, man, you got to stop doing is your limited thinking. You know, some of us limit what we believe we can do yeah. because of a title. I talked about that last week in the Bahamas. Mm. Your titles don't determine who you are or what right. you can do. Actually, titles can be limiting. Yeah, that's true. I mean, uh, as I shared before, I'm an engineer, I guess, by education, by mm -hmm. trade, I guess. Mm -hmm. But uh, as an engineer, at uh, its standards, the most I could make was 50 to 100 grand. I definitely was not going to be a president as an engineer. So that's why I'm telling you now, the most I probably got to be 100,000. And that would have took me, what, 20 years? I'll probably just now be making 100,000. Probably, right? yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but that doesn't dictate who you are. That doesn't, there's more in you. So when you have these opportunities, don't think just because you hold a certain title, don't think just because you hold the title of mom and you stay at home and take care of the family that you can't do bigger things. Mm -hmm. Don't just consider the title that you got laid off and, and you can't do bigger things. These are the things I want you to always think big. Uh, Vincent, uh, is it Vincent Poole? Norman Vincent Poole. No, Norman Vincent Poole said, uh, I shoot for the moon because if I miss, I'll land amongst the stars. And I share that, 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 that metaphor, that story, that excerpt, because what, this last COVID, we had this goal of, of, of 100 getting 100 hotels, 100 million at least. And we were only able to acquire three hotels. Uh, we were all in for, I don't know, what, 26 million, no, mm -hmm. 20, yeah, 26, 28 million. And those hotels combined are worth 40 plus million. So did I fail? Did I fail? Type in the chat. Do you think I failed? I was shooting for a hundred hotels. A hundred million. <laughs> Ingram over here said, yes, you failed miserably. <laughs> uh, or did I shoot for the moon and land amongst the stars? Yep. So that's because just imagine if we only thought about one hotel. Yeah, you probably won't acquire any. Yeah. Yeah. Next, next slide. And, and, right. and we'll go through the five steps, guys. In, hey, Adam in said, fail like a winner. That's what I love, <laughs> man. Like I love that. Who said that? <laughs> Adam. Adam. Adam said, fail like a winner. I think that deserves a uh, t shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you get a t shirt for that. Fail like a winner. If you go, fail like a winner. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I love that. Cool. Thanks, guys. Gian, uh, Winston. What about finding deals? Winston, I know that's, well, you know, that's. Well, we'll go we're going to get to that. Okay. That's uh, that's yeah. another topic, but raising capital and finding deals are yep. like our top two subjects mm -hmm. or questions always. Okay. Oh, wait, oh, well, will you go back so I can go here? So let me think. Number step number two, you got to get educated. All right. Once you kind of figure out what the goal is or you have this vision, you got to get educated. And listen, if you're thinking of something, and you don't cringe, it's not big enough. Literally, for you, here's another example, and I'm sorry, we'll, go, we'll get on, but I had this BHAG of owning a billion dollars in assets. Mm -hmm. That's a big goal. Yeah. And that was just the base. Mm. And from there, my children's children, me, myself, we would grow to two, three, four, eight billion in assets. Right? Now, that, that's where I kind of stopped. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> I met these guys. They were, they one left Vanguard and the other one left uh, Black Rock or Blackstone, Black mm -hmm. and they're creating this platform. And he's like, "We're going to acquire or own or have on our platform over a trillion dollars 
and assets. That's crazy. I said, man, what the hell? I stopped like, is you crazy? Now that's a B-hack. Yep, that's a B-hack. And I'm still like, I looked at my little thing like, man, what I got is just nothing. <laughs> I'm a peon. Yeah. And so, I mean, it's but it doesn't hungry. matter. You don't have to be that big, but I want you to go that big. I want you to think big. All right, uh, let's go back. You need to be thinking big, bitch. I can't see what what the screen says. <laughs> you just hitting all the screens when. <laughs> uh, the next big thing is learn how to raise OPM, other people's money, uh, which is why we're doing an OPM intensive. Mm -hmm. If you're part of our mastermind, it's you get it's, to attend for free. You get to attend for free. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if you want to just check it out, we'll be doing that January 25th, 26th. Yeah, at the Sharonville Delta Hotel, uh, where we'll teach you all about raising capital because that's essential. Finding a deal and raising the capital. Yep. And then the other thing is, once you start to do it, you got a network. I share multiple times. Your network is your net worth. So work your network to build your net worth. Nice, nicely said. Uh, I mean, and then execute. The, yeah, and execute like. I don't even look at deals anymore. Well, let me rephrase that. I'm not out hunting. I did. I did put it out there the way I market it. I'll talk. Mm -hmm. But the, that deals, the come deals come to us. Mm -hmm. But it's still my network. Yeah, yeah. All my deals. All my deals came from my network. Yep. Okay. Next slide. How are we doing on time? Oh, this is getting low. so. Stop this stinking what is it stinking thinking mm -hmm. limited thinking yep stop your stinking thinking <laughs> all right stop the limited thinking set a goal based on what you really want not what you think you can accomplish right yeah, yeah a lot of people they limit their goals because they think oh i can only buy a house because i have a hundred thousand you know i cannot buy a hotel or an apartment building well you know stop there instead think of what you really want aim for that and figure out how you can achieve that instead of limiting yourself to just doing this because you only have this yeah now i mean you gotta increase your your thought process your dreams be uncomfortable right uh think of, of other things and look one of the things people gets concerned of like how am i going to do this Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Think big, write your dream down, write your goal down, and don't worry about how it's going to come to reality. Right. Don't worry about how you're going to breathe life into it. Yeah, that's Just how it show itself. It will come. Mm -hmm. I, and, you know, it's funny. I, uh, you know, I had this dream of doing a billion dollars in assets. I had a dream of. Well, I just had a dream of doing real estate, period. And I kept reading books, I, but I still didn't really know how. But I just kept writing it down. Matter of fact, when I lost everything, I literally created this and win loves flow charts. But I created this flow chart on all the businesses I would do. Mm. No clue on how to do it. Not at all. It's just like, oh, I want to own. Um, um, uh, resorts. I want to own hotels. I want apartments. I want to own a cruise line. I want to be a consultant to other businesses. I, I wrote all these different things down. I even said I was going to help people get into office in the political office. No clue, no money, broke as a joke. I was couch surfing at the time. Literally homeless, basically. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm homeless like I'm going to do a billion dollars and I'm on hotels and resorts and all the cars I want. Yeah, no idea. <laughs> but what happens, you keep talking about it. You keep reading about it. You keep looking at your vision. You see it every day. And then what happens, you start sharing this with other people. Mm. You're like, man, I really have this idea, this vision of doing resorts or hotels or this and that. And this is what's going to happen. Man, you crazy. Man, that's bananas. Man, you really need to go get a job. Uh, you really need to check your dream in. 
And then next thing you know, you say something, hey, that's pretty amazing. I just met a guy that's doing hotels. Mm -hmm. uh, I just met a guy that owns yachts or works on a yacht. They have these meetings. You should go. The next thing you know, you're in a room with all these people that are doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. See, and then you get to see it. And then once you start seeing it in your spirit, in your mind, you start believing that you can do it and you'll know it with certainty. You know, I, I, that's it, man. Right. You just got to get in the room with other people. Mm -hmm. And now with social media, you literally can get in the room it, with other people by joining multiple groups. Like mm -hmm. we have apartment investing secrets. If you haven't, uh, if you're not a part of that group, join right now, go to apartment investing secrets on Facebook and learn, uh, join right now where it is 30 30, some thousand 30, people yep. uh, that all they do is talk about apartments all day. Yep, exactly. So part, part of the mindset of, can you show the slide? Yeah. Part of the mindset guys is uh, not just, not limiting your your goal to what you can achieve, but also not thinking that you got to achieve everything by yourself. As Mike said, when you put out the goal, uh, then the how will show itself. But sometimes the how is disguised as a who. You know, it's not just how, but who. Who are the people who can help you achieve that goal, right? Next slide. Uh, step two, we want to get educated. You need to learn the terminology of big deals. Uh, you need to know the numbers and how they are calculated. You need to know how need to know how to find and analyze large apartment hotels and deals, right? Apartments hotel. Let me tell you something, man. I remember uh, I found one of the first big deal. It was uh, anybody familiar with Cincinnati? Uh, it was the Williamsburg apartment yeah. uh, right across from Drake Hospital, mm -hmm. and I. Was it? Okay. Good things or bad? Okay. So, but I, it, back in the day, that was the, like the premier place yeah. to live. Yep. And it went through this downhill struggle and mm -hmm. I was able to get it by the mortgage note for about 21, 22 million. I had that opportunity. So I called a friend of mine and I said, Hey man, can you get me with somebody that can raise capital or have money? So he gets me on the phone with a guy that could easily write a check for 50 million if he wants to, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm on the phone pitching the deal and he's like, well, tell me more about this because I know this place. So you're telling me if I don't buy this because he was like, this is a shithole right now. If are you telling me if I don't buy this deal, I'm missing out on money. I was like, yeah. I was like, look, man, all we got to do, and I'm, I'm small minded here. I didn't understand cash flow and values mm. and cap rates at the time. I was thinking, look, all we got to do is pave the roads because the roads were like the Zuma roads in the Bahamas, right? <laughs> wow. They were rough. It, they had potholes everywhere. Mm. And I was like, we raise a million, we do a million dollars and then we could flip it and sell it for 25, 27, 28 million, you know, make a quick two, three, four million dollars. He was like, well, how do you know this? And my response was, well, because my man Jim just did a similar deal like this down the street. Let me tell you something. Jim down the street is not a good answer. <laughs> okay, I just want to... <laughs> Jim down the street is not a good answer. What he was really looking for is, hey, what's the absorption rate here? Why do you believe this is going up? Well, the current rents in this area are renting for this price per square foot. Mm -hmm. And it's increased yeah. uh, 30 to 40, uh, uh, or like 50 cent or a dollar more per square, per square foot, foot. Yeah, right? Know. Instead of renting for a dollar square foot, they now rent for a dollar 30, dollar 40. Mm -hmm. That alone would have piqued his interest. Right, right. That's right. a big jump. Yeah, especially if you know the tapestry report, then now you know the income. You a know, tapestry, if I could say raises. crime rate, I talked right. about the school district. If I talked about the capital expenditures and an amount of reserves and but a long story short, he liked me, but I couldn't close the deal because mm -hmm. I couldn't talk and turn a rate to return, right. cash on cash, mm -hmm. you know, future projections. And so what happened, he passed on a deal, uh, Kushner, mm -hmm. yep, Trump's son-in-law. Really? He ended up buying the whole portfolio and he paid 
I think 36 million. For the whole portfolio. For what it was included, but allotted to this one. He paid 36 million. Mm -hmm. Then he didn't do any work to this. Mm. Immediately flipped it for 42 million. What? He made six million dollars. When yeah. he could have actually made even more, more yeah. than that. And then it resold again for 60 million. That's crazy. A thousand something units. Guys, that's the cost of ignorance, right? So damn, you, you didn't have to say it like that. Damn. But but see the, damn, man. Well, I say it like that, bro. The, the reason why the reason why I, I, I mention it like that is, is because you know I encounter people, oh man, I have a big dream. I, I, I want to acquire one million units, right? And then when you when you tell them, look, this is the this is the cost of the education, this is the investment that you need to make in order for you to get the know-how to get there, it's like, oh, it's too expensive. Well, what's the what's the price of ignorance? Man, price to kill you, man. Yep. I I I, I never forget when I first started getting into real estate. You know, I was doing pretty well. You know, especially after the Great Recession. Um, I was buying houses dirt cheap, and so everybody was offering a course. You know, fifteen hundred dollars, ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars, thirty thousand. Matter of fact, Grant Cardone offers a course for a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Now, I'm not telling you guys to do that, but I was like a hundred thousand. Like, what you teaching me for a hundred thousand dollars? Where in the hell are these flies coming from? <laughs> <laughs> hey, they want some drinks back there. <laughs> and so, uh, so what? What? What I learned though is I made so many mistakes. Right. We just took that fifteen hundred dollar. Yeah spent that money mm -hmm. and had some valuable lessons and increased my network, which right. would increase my net worth. That's true. That's and, true. And, and so I end up taking, I'll tell you, I end up doing a CCIM. Mm -hmm. I spent, I don't know, 12, I probably spent $15,000 because I traveled That's and true. stayed there for a week at a time when I took the courses. And as soon as I took the course, I came back talking in the lingo of mm -hmm. price per square foot feasibility studies mm -hmm. uh drive time radius and leakage and and and, and reading census reports mm -hmm. immediately banks and and private wealth funds started taking notice of me and was willing to do deals with me there you go immediately yeah and so i share that with you is you know you'll go to college and spend I don't know. Now the rates are 50,000 a yeah, year. Right. So you'll spend 200, 250,000 on an education to make and be come out in awesome. debt to make 50,000 a year. Crazy. And you only got 5,000 a year to pay that. Right. To pay the debt. That's all. Cause you ain't got no money after it's all said and done. Mm -hmm. And so I spent 12,000, $15,000 that, that I, I'm That's telling you to help me generate millions. It, look, it got me a a, a a hundred million dollar deal. There you go. Let, let's just leave it at that. Mm -hmm. I made millions, but I'm still doing bigger deals. Right. And so I don't even want you looking at this as a course, but more of a consultant. I like, let's say you get a, a Grant Cordon course, right? A hundred grand. If he taught you how to make a hundred thousand a year which i promise you is teaching way more than that. yeah 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 but i'm just being if you can make a hundred thousand a year for the rest of your life with you know not working as hard mm -hmm. would that be worth it well here's the thing some people only made an extra hundred thousand there some people made millions yep and our course uh, yeah it's 12 14 000, but these people start making I mean, we got people that own 800 units, 1,000 yeah. units, did 100 million in deals. That's crazy. My point is, I even, we just paid a consultant for us. We paid yeah. $70,000. 68,000 plus 18,000. That's yeah. a total of 86,000. We paid uh, basically $90,000 right. to a course or a consultant. Mm -hmm. That 90,000 in literally two, three weeks. In, in in two months, we made the same amount of money we made the entire year in 2021. In two months. Yep, in two months. Because we would literally the, went from a half a million to a couple of this like, tracking over two million 
in in one of our businesses, right? So th think about that. That's the power of investing in your in your education. Invest in yourself, right? Warren Buffett said the best investment is investment in yourself, not in stocks, not in businesses, but investment in yourself. So think about that, right? So yeah. next slide. Guys, what do you think about that? Investing in yourself. What kind of return do you think you could get? Do you think educating yourself is worth it? You know, what do you think it's worth? You know, what's the price of that? Yeah. If you can make a million dollars, what is that worth? A lot you, more than a million dollars. Is it, is it, I mean, is it, I mean, <laughs> if you can make a million dollars, was that worth 10, 12, 20, 30 grand? Yeah, definitely. Yep. And it's, it's something you could repeat mm -hmm. over and over again. Yep. Like, I'm not saying that for my course. I'm just, you can, with this new technology age, there's so, it's, you can have it literally at your fingertips, sitting on your couch at home, mm -hmm. instead of traveling all over the world to, to work with these people. Yep. Right. Um, step three, learn how to raise OPM. I'll let you take this one. Go okay. Ahead, so private money, guys, is very crucial to your success, right? Because without private money or without knowing that you have private money backing you, 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 you won't even have the confidence to make an offer on these big deals, right? So if you encounter a 100-unit deal tomorrow, and it's like, it's the deal of the life of, of a lifetime, just like what happened to Mike, right? I think that's like 1,000 units, right? So, but without access to capital, now how can you even make an offer? Right? <laughs> you know, you won't have the confidence to, to doing that, right? Now, that's why, you know, one of the things you need to do is learn how to raise OPM or other people's money because once you have that pinned down and, you know, then you, imp then you implement it, you network and so on. Now, you know, you have big money coming in or big private investors that are willing to invest with you. Now you can get your foot in the door with all of these big deals, right? So definitely, you know, again, you know, not, uh, not to belabor it or, or, or so on. You can learn how to do it, but I strongly, strongly recommend OPM intensive because not only do you get the knowledge on how to do it, we give you the systems on how to do it as well as the network on how to do it. Okay, next slide. And talk about raising capital. Uh, these are some of my students right here. And uh, that's me with the colorful shirt. And we raced uh, Porsches that day. Uh, but Jessica, Tim, uh, all these guys, they went out there and they've been doing it. Just by taking a course, they went out and raised plenty of capital to do their deals. Yeah, and, and then Tim did $100 million in real estate. And yeah, I mean, he just started in and, 2019. Think about that, guys. It's like crazy, right? 2019, and, Tim, and listen, $100 million worth of deals. Tim keeps spending money to go to all these courses and be with other people. Yeah. So I mean, you wonder Tim, why he's doing so well. Exactly. Tim, like, like I, I will, three mastermind. I would three not doubt Tim, uh, Tim has spent a minimum of 50, 60 grand yeah. on courses. Yep. And masterminds. I wouldn't doubt it. That's an easy in one year. Mm -hmm. And yet there's the result, guys. And, and matter of fact, uh, Allie, is it Allie? She's out of Boston or Connecticut. What are you talking about? Oh, um, she's one of our first students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Allison. Allison. She was grinding multiple. Now she just kills it. Has the hair salon still? Has, now she's out of it. She sells products. She continues to do multiple deals. She raised a half a million. Now it's probably a million, and 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 it constantly turns over into multiple deals. That's great. That's great. Yeah, because she constantly educated. Like they didn't stop. Like I would love to say you can have all you need right in our course, and we yeah, I can say that, but they just didn't stop. They were so hungry and thirsty mm -hmm. for knowledge and wisdom. They they went on and did that. Yeah. Cool. Next slide. Hey, is this, uh, what do you think about this kettle one and liquor in the background? Should, should we change that to coffee? Uh, cause every time I look at it, I want to go back there and have a couple of drinks, man. <laughs> more bourbon. Yeah. That's what I think. We should have more bourbon. We should have some Hennessy, <laughs> some Hennessy and coke. <laughs> All right. All right. Next slide. Next slide.
network uh, very powerful network. yeah and no, all the network is everything man yeah. you got to surround yourself with people who are investing in apartments or hotels i mean the the, the reason why uh he said that's brown <laughs> definitely not a million dollar liquor okay so if we get the liquor it's got to be higher end i got it okay yep, yep. we need louis, louis the third go we're gonna go hard okay that now i got it thank you all right um i got into hotels and larger deals because of the network i was surrounded by mm. um I was sharing with, I was, uh, Tom Humes was a great tradition who does these 30 to $100 million developments every year. Mm. Uh, um, 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 Dan Schenberg, local Uptown Rentals, yeah, he does. 50 million a year, right? Easy, easy. Yeah. And what made me want to start doing big deals was I would see them do, I was doing deals and I was doing these single family homes. And by the time I finished, Somebody didn't rent it or somebody stole some copper or contractor don't didn't show up. Contractor didn't show up, mm -hmm. right? And this is a fifty, seventy thousand dollar deal, and I'll make twenty, thirty thousand, right? Right. And so I'm talking to these guys, and you know, these are multimillionaires. And guess what? They gotta put clothes on just like us. Mm -hmm. They gotta pull their pants on just like us. And so now what I didn't realize is. They were going to their job sites and they were like, yeah, Mike, the electrician didn't show up. I said, what? <laughs> the same problem. You, you paying this guy three or four million. I'm going to show up every day. They didn't show up. Then he was like, Mike, my, my leasing agent didn't lease up the apartments in time, so I can't close my loan right now. You paying him 50, 60 grand a year. Then he was like, yeah, I can't sell my condo and clothes because they didn't sell enough condos yet. But guess what? They had the same problems I had, but when they were done, they got a check for five to 20 million. Nice. I got a check for five to 20,000. <laughs> I said, you know what? I'm doing big deals. Yeah. Big deals is where the big money is. And that's yeah. what, that's what made me change. Mm -hmm. Next slide. Well, oh no. Sorry. Oh, you stay yeah, on that yeah, same yeah. slide. Yeah. So your net worth, guys, is the average of the five people you hang around with really? most of the time. Yeah, yeah. So I, it, I believe it, that's pretty true, right? Because yeah. when I first started, I I I stopped hanging with all my people. I just those are my best. They my friends. They still my right. friends today, mm -hmm. and I talk to them. Um, but I start hanging with Kevin McGraw, yeah. Kevin Moeller, mm -hmm. multimillionaires. I started hanging with um, um, John Bowling. I don't know if he was a million at the time, but he was on his way. Mm -hmm. uh, and I started hanging with all these brokers that had their own deals and real estate. I mean, they were all like in the multi-million dollar range. And then I really wanted to get in development. So that's when I got into community counseling. And I met all the big developers. Dan Schimberg and so on. Oh, I can't even name them all, but they're like the gods of real estate in Cincinnati. Mm. Nice. It's huge. And like, like starting getting, that's when, that's when you start to get the private planes. Nice. If you want to be a private plane, I don't know why that came up, but there you go. <laughs> yeah. We're just, just like very inspired look there. Bill. No, I mean, that's that. <laughs> so in our mastermind, you're surrounded by people who are doing big deals and have big goals and that's what we're talking about b hags big hairy audacious goals let's yep. go to the next one and step five okay can you can you play this video can you try did you and then did you hit the thing that it says uh play the video and huh okay we'll okay. see let's see okay well yeah well we'll we'll, we'll get it we we'll get out. Time, but, Keisha Kennedy, go ahead. You yeah, tell but, her what but, you did. But Keisha Kennedy, you know, talking about the power of network, right? Oh, there you go. Oh, you can you can play it. Okay. So, but uh, she went from can they hear her? Three houses. Okay, okay, three houses from wait, go back. So three houses that she bought for 10 years. And in 18 months, she went from three houses to over 500 units. And that's the power of being in the right network, right? 
uh, Keisha is not even based in the US and yet she was able to invest in the US because she has the, the right network of people who are doing deals in the US and one of them is our mastermind. You know, so in fact, her very first passive investment deal is with one of the members of the mastermind and that got her started in raising money because she can show to people that she's invested passively as well and passive investors started investing with her left and right. And before she knew it, 18 months later, over 500 units, right? That's the power of belonging to the right network. Next slide. So what can you do to start executing? Well, one, uh, analyze a deal, one a deal a day, post on your social media every day. And if some of you that, like, I don't know how to post. I don't even know where to start. Guess what? We have post ready. Uh, what is that? Postready.com? Yeah, postready.com. Uh, how do you spell that so they'll know? P P O S T post ready R E D I dot com. All right. All right. And 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 look, it will post for you. All right. And talk to a new real estate person every day. Get out there. Take these steps and put your action steps with it. Faith with no works is dead, meaning you can believe all you want, but if you don't put no action, if you don't put no work, it's not going to happen. With the mastermind, you will be accountable. You'll get a success coach to get you to develop and execute your big deal acquisition and funding plan. Look, we want you to succeed. Look, I'm out here looking for Navy SEALs, not Baby SEALs. And listen, hope is only a word uh, unless you put execution and action with it. There you go. Cool. Next so time. look, I'm committed to your success. Let's go to the next one. Everyone needs and a coach. Here's an example of being guided by a coach, but, you know, doing it like good execution. Like Johannes, when he joined us, he, he mm -hmm. told us, Mike, all he wants is to buy one hotel in the next 12 months, right? And then guess what? He bought three hotels in six months. That's and crazy. he attributed this when I, when, when I asked him, he said, you know what? Because in our, in our mastermind, I have to come here every week and have to tell Mike, I did this, I did that. I cannot tell Mike I didn't do anything for the week, right? <laughs> because he will be there. So because of that accountability and then Mike guided Johannes, bam, three hotels in just six months, guys. And then he's doing this one now uh, outside of Missouri. What's that? What that movie shot? I keep Ergo, Argo, not Argo. Argo, probably, uh, no. No, no, the no. one of the Net Netflix movie. Oh, no. Ozark. Oh, he's out right. in the Ozark, oh, and man. now the local municipality wants him to come out and start working on some development. That's crazy. I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. even know that. Yeah, yeah. thanks. So the Mark's saying that Ozark. Let's go to the next one. So how do you do big deals fast? Join the Big Deal Maker Mastermind. That's how you do big deals. You get educated. You get yourself surrounded by people. Here's a list of all our, our different people uh, that's been doing big deals. Uh, but I just want to know, type it in the chat, uh, type on Instagram, type in Facebook. Will you be the next multimillionaire? Will you be the one to do the next big deal? If you believe you're the one next big deal, type in big deal yes. <laughs> or hell. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep it. Hell to the yell. Big deals. Hell to the yeah. Damn. Damon. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Big deals, baby. Hell to the yeah. Hell to the yeah. Big deal. Instagram. Where you at? So look, uh, if you want to be a part of this, man, just email us at big deal maker mastermind at gmail.com big deal maker mastermind at gmail.com because you're the one that's it you are the one quit waiting for someone else to come do it for you you are the one all right all right you're the one that's going to change your family and the dynamics you want to play uh tim's video just as an example well, yeah, just just share and then click on share sound. Don't don't forget to share sound. Okay. Well, I told him last time. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. There, there, there. I mean, his there is all over the place. All right. Let let us know if you if if you hear the sound. 
Yeah, here we go. We got a video for you. Hey, Mike, and uh, happy Thanksgiving. I just wanted to send out a little message to you, man, and say uh, on this Thanksgiving, this guy uh, is extremely grateful for everything you've done for me over the last couple of years. Um, You know, I've learned a ton in your mastermind. Um, I really enjoy being a coach. I've learned from the other coaches like Devon and John. Um, But, you know, the biggest thing is, man, like when I started this, Fix and flips, single family houses, that was kind of my thing. And um, raising capital from other people was just a non-starter. And I had no idea how I was going to get out of my W-2 on the current path I was on. I just knew I was miserable on my job. Um, Joining your mastermind, having the conversations with you, especially that one day in the car when you were like, man, you got this. You can can absolutely do this. Um, Man, those have been uh, game changers for me. Uh, Two years later, here I am over a thousand units, um, have raised millions, never thought that was possible. And, uh, man, I'm just, uh, I'm just really grateful. Uh, I really appreciate everything you've done for me. Looking forward to the future with you and, uh, happy Thanksgiving, Mike. Much appreciated. All right. So, uh, let's take some questions answered. But again, if you want to join the mastermind, go to big deal maker at gmail.com. Uh, yeah, send us your contact info, your name, well, obviously, your phone number, okay? Uh, and then why we should accept you because this is by application only. We literally turn down people because, as Mike said, we want to work with Navy SEALs, not Navy SEALs, right? So go to uh, send us an email at bigdillmakermastermind at gmail.com. Again, that's bigdillmakermastermind at gmail.com. And yeah, let's let's go for the questions. Just skip the slide for now, Walt. Uh, sh- show the slide for now, and uh, yeah, let's go through your questions. Yeah, there's something in Q and A, and somebody. Okay, I'll take this one. Uh, Nicole, I can find deals and execute the PM side. I just need to capital start. I just started trying to do this on a small scale with single family homes, small units. Uh, but the past investors I acquired at interview all got scared of real estate and backed out. I offer 18 to 50% or ROI in under six months. Yeah, that's the problem. Need to help to find, can I will invest? I'm I'm out of money because I put all my time and effort to this and got everyone nervous, got nervous. Yeah. Yeah, Nicole, one, Nicole, the bottom line is there's a process and there's a way on how you pitch people. Right. Uh, and one of the things that you do is you don't talk about yourself. And really, your returns might have scared them off because yeah, it, it may not sound. Be true. Yeah. Yeah. And when it sounds too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's, again, talking in the right language. Now, if you would have said something about a cash on cash, six to eight percent, and then you end up returning 15 percent. Great. But you don't tell people uh, that you'll get 15% on their money. Yeah, uh, or, but you you got to talk in months, equity yeah. multiples and IRR. And the other thing is when you're in these meetings, you need to be listening. You need to be listening on what their goal is, what they're trying to accomplish, what they want. Uh, not about what you can do and what you can return. Uh, so if, they're, if, they, if, if, if they come and trust me, that's okay. I went a whole year out raising capital and didn't raise one penny. And then finally, when I did get the money or somebody was willing to offer me a million dollars, I didn't take it because it wasn't the right fit. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's another one? There were some questions in Q&A. How do we take this and, OPM intensive? Go to oh, opmintensive.com. Yeah, go to opmintensive.com. Opmintensive.com. Sign up now. Uh, and we'll teach you how to raise capital. Nicole, you uh, you definitely, Nicole, I, you definitely need to come to that. Uh, and you'll learn a lot of different things that you uh, missed out on uh, that you should have been doing. Big deal, daddy, Chris Lynn. Yeah. Uh, that Jordan, what did Hold Jordan say? Down. Go back up. Well, so you're going too fast. Go back. Slow back to where uh, Nicole, I was yep, right there. there you go. I'm very visual, flow chart, study, learn. Oh, learn all the terminology and formulas other than your book, which I've read twice now. Well, thanks, Jordan. Uh, It's time for you to get busy. If you read the book, it's time to execute. Um, 
Was there any other questions in the Q and A? Join the mastermind. Right there, nothing was in Q and A. They just had something. Oh, chat was disabled at the time. Okay. All right. Uh, if not, when you got anything, uh, Joe's been uncomfortable for quite some time. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, yeah. And Joe, you on so uncomfortable. You got to unbutton your pants. You be like, man, shoot, I'm gonna sit on this couch. We gotta get off that couch. Right. Uh, right. And then some someone said like, you know, YouTube University. Well, I mean, it YouTube is good, right? Don't get me wrong. But sometimes the advice you get from YouTube, like just watching videos, are like contradictory to each other. Like <laughs> we also encounter that on on bigger pockets, right? Yeah. Like someone yeah. will say, "Oh, do this," some, and then another one will say the exact opposite. Like, who do you listen to, right? So the you know, uh, I think Robert Kiyosaki was the one who said, "Beware of the of an advice that you get for free." Okay, <laughs> so because it's free advice and it may not be the best advice, right? So I'm not saying that you that you won't learn anything from from YouTube, but the point is, you know, um, it's better if you have knowledge that you know, so, like someone from Mike and it's organized, right? Because it works, guys. You know, we've shown you a lot of testimonials, a lot of success stories, and the question is, as Mike said, are you the next one? Okay, so with that, let's go let's to get to the millionaire mindset. Millionaire mindset. Now it's time yeah, it for Mike's millionaire mindset. Ready? Um. Yeah, I was thinking about this. Could you you put this camera on for me? Um. I was thinking about, you know, now it's Christmas and we're going back to visit. And, and just the other day, I was I was thinking how it go to my grandma and grandpa house and um, behind their house, there was this recreation center and this uh, this basketball court. And so we will always go out there and play. And but there was one day I came out. And this man uh, came out with a, with a T-shirt shorts, the tube socks, and them hard shoes. And I was like, what is he doing? And he, and he, and he said, he said, he yelled out, children, you gonna die. And people gonna throw dirt on your head and go back in the church and eat potato salad. I said, what? And then he repeated again, children, you going to die and they're going to throw dirt on your head and go back in the church and eat potato salad. And when he said that, first of all, I, I, I didn't know if I was more worried about what he said or about what he was wearing. <laughs> but it wasn't until later on, as I got a little older, I understood what he was saying. He was saying, you know, everything has an expiration date. And so your life has an expiration date. And what have you done with it? And, and it was so touching. And, and it was, and, and, and I remember from that time, I thought about what I wanted to do with my life. And all I knew was I, I wanted to be successful. I just wanted to be successful. Who in here, who on here wants to be successful? If you want to be successful, type it in the chat. If you want to be successful, type it right now. I want success. Or just say it to yourself. I want success. And as I shared with you last week, so many of us, uh, they, 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 they use these titles. And because they use those titles, they limit their success. And as I share with you, your title doesn't define you, but the challenges you go through, they help define your character and help define the relentlessness in you to do the great things. And so knowing that titles are not everything, there is more to life. Like I wanted this money, not just 
to have the nice jewelry and the cars and and trust me, I got them. <laughs> like I, I like I like my videos. You know, I, I like the jewelry. I like, but I wanted to change my community, and I did that. I'm donating to my church. Nice check this week. I, I'm I paid for some kids to go to school. I did that because I wanted to change my, I, I wanted to be successful and that's all about success and they'll come back to you multifold. But the, the point I'm making to you is what are you living for? Are you living for the titles? Or are you just living for the testimonies? You were like, what are you talking about, Mike? Well, like, like Saddam Hussein lived for titles. Uh, but Martin Luther King lived for testimonies. Uh, 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 Caesar lived for titles, but Jesus lived for testimonies. My question is, what are you living for, titles or testimonies? Uh, you know, when you were born, your mom held you close to her bosom while you were crying and screaming, but everybody was surrounded by you smiling and laughing. But when you leave this earth and your time expired, will people be at your gravesite crying and missing you while you're looking over them, laughing and smiling? Idols or testimonials. Because if you can work it all out, that'll all lead to true success. God bless you. And remember, you're one big deal away. Thanks so much for joining us today. We giving anything away today? Yeah, and uh, Dale Platten, yes, your, your book will be there during the OPM intensive because you're supposed to get the book last Thanksgiving. I don't know if uh, Walt already shipped it to you, but if not, then then you'll get it. Yeah, yeah, you need okay. to get. Yeah, you need to give the your 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 mailing address. But with that, who do we give the book to? We will give it to maybe uh Caesar, Caesar or Cesar. Where are we at? If, Caesar or Cesar? Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure. Yep. Oh, he has a question actually. Is the network uh, and the course applicable for someone in Canada? The answer is absolutely. Yeah, Canada definitely it works. Mm -hmm. They look at yep. the same way. All right. So again, guys. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys next week. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Chris Land, I have no idea. What is the uh, the plus sign and the backslide? <laughs> Backslash. Oh, yeah, I know. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. See you soon. See you next week. Bye, Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I was born to be a baby. Right. That's what I dream every day, so I say it. Yeah. I used to be broke, though. Money was so so. Used to be low, though. But I was born to be the realest. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I was born to be the realest. Because yeah. anything is possible. Uh, if you don't know, it got to go. Uh, I'm about to, about to blow. Uh, I'm about to start the show. You're trying to me down. Try to take my crown. Uh, if you don't know it, got to go. Uh, I